How you doing everybody? Adam from the developphp.com forums here coming at you once again with another video tutorial. This one comes courtesy of Gregio54 who asks, I've been trying to work out for ages how to get an ad to drop every two or three in a loop. Just how this forum now works. It's two replies then an ad then two replies then an ad and so on. Any ideas? And I said, do you want a video tutorial? I said, basically, you stagger it out using the I as an iterator, and you create your if and else logic. He said, yes, a video would be good to help him understand it. So now we're going to move forward with the video. And you can see in mind, what he's talking about is how my ads come out here. If you're somebody that, if you're a webmaster that has PHP scripting in your website, and you happen to be running Google AdSense or Value Click Media ads, whatever kind of ads you're running, Usually that ad server will only let you pump out a maximum of three or four or five. I'm not sure what the respective numbers are, but I think for Google AdSense, the maximum is three image ads can be on a page at one time. So you can see I'm pumping out my maximum of three ads using my Google AdSense, but I've scripted it out in such a way where they'll show up only where I designate. So if he made this thread, and nobody replied to him, there would only be this top ad on the page. But since I replied, and then I replied again, an ad showed up. So I have mine scripted to be every three and five. So every three posts, an ad shows up right between the third and the fourth post. Then I have it scripted to where after the fifth post, another ad shows up between the fifth and the sixth post. And then no more will show up to the page because I've reached my maximum. I can't just put an ad after every single post because first that would be a little bit annoying to your site members and second there's a maximum of how many you can have so if I if this thread happened to be 20 posts deep I can't have an ad after every post or after every three or after every five you have to have better logic in there to stagger it out and limit it to where only three show up on the page so that's so what we're going to show you how to do. So this one is just more really for the more advanced PHP scripters. And it's going to apply to your PHP and MySQL scripting. Really more PHP based scripting. But it also applies to your MySQL array output. Right, enough talk. Let's code. I'm a dork. First, let's take a look at this very simple example of a while loop. And which this was what you would have, especially Gregio, he would have a while loop. After he connects to his database and he queries the database, he's going to output some data within a while loop. So that's what I've set up as a little simulated database while loop. So what my while loop is set up to do is just say while i, which it starts at zero. So i is just a variable that we can call poop if you want. But most people name that i. We'll call it poop, just to show you how it can be anything you want. I'm going to change everywhere where it says I to poop. But normally, you would put I in your script. So when you're working with a loop, as many of you know, it allows you to work a process many times over and over again. So when you query a MySQL database and you get the result set back, you can use a while loop to iterate within that array data and pump everything out individually. So my while loop your array data would be here for your MySQL row array. So I wrote it to say while poop is less than 20, we're going to perform a certain action. So first when we start off, poop is equal to zero. So the while loop will definitely run the first time because poop is definitely less than 20. So the first thing that happens in the first pass of the loop is poop gets iterated. Poop plus plus. So that means poop will be have a value of 1 at that point. So then you can output whatever you're going to output. And you can use your MySQL IDs or whatever. You don't even have to output that I. But I'm just outputting the I to show you. I am a simulated database listing number 1. So within milliseconds, the loop is going to run again. And it's going to loop 20 times. So I have it, mine has a ceiling of 20. So maybe your database result set is holding only five results or maybe it's holding 20 or maybe a hundred or a thousand so now you can see how I'm getting this list here my while loop has a ceiling of 20 so it's gonna run 20 times basically so now let's put an ad up top from your ad server 
So if you took that and you tried to put it in there, right, say right here, let's run that and see what happens. Let's refresh. You can see I get an ad from my ad server being placed in after each post or after each listing in the database. And that's too much. That's no good. So this is how simple it is to achieve the logic you need. And now remember, you're sitting there, you're connected to your database, you queried your database, you have a while loop that you're working with. So me and you are at the same point now. This is all you have to add to that while loop. Just make sure you iterate poop or you iterate the index, the, the incremental index value. Yours might be i. Let's just change this back to i. That way I don't confuse anybody. But that can be named whatever you want. So now basically just add this to your while loop, your existing while loop output. Say yours would be here, your existing while loop output, whatever. Just add these few lines. You add your i++ and then an if and else condition statement right here. Now since you're putting in your add code here, let's remove it here, make sure it's blank up top. So that way up top you're just initializing your add code variable. So in the if and else condition statement, this is what you're saying. If i is equal to 3, or if i is equal to 5, or if i is equal to 7, add code is going to be the add code from your ad server, Google AdSense or whatever. Else add code is blank. Then in the output, you just leave that saying add code. Now watch when I run it now. Let me refresh. And you can see it staggers it exactly where I want it. And there's only a maximum of three ads being thrown into the page. This way I don't go over my max. Or I won't have any empty blocks there. So let's say I wanted the ads to be after two. Or even after one, three, and five. You can put more in there. You can say or i equals seven or i equals nine. Go as many as you want. But when you're dealing with ad servers, there's usually a max on how many you can throw out to the page. And this will help you do it dynamically. So you can change these numbers to be whatever you want. And remember, this is your existing while loop. All you have to do is add this little bit of code. Leave everything else alone. Add this little bit of code and make sure in your existing output that you put that add code variable to render. And that's how you see it, man. So now you should be able to stagger your ads from your ad server into your page, no problem. And we'll see you guys next lesson.